T-Max Rick here, folks. It's been a long time. America. America. We, uh, I've been away for a little bit. I've uh, been traveling for work, so I apologize. I was just trying to throw some stuff up on the page uh, to keep something going on for content. Uh, I travel for work. I've been out in Canada for three weeks. There's a little video up on the page of one of the days I was there, just fooling around. Uh, but anyways, we're going to get back into the T-Max, as I promised. Uh, two videos today. One's going to be about a cool storage bag that my brother-in-law got me for Christmas. I can't wait to show you that. I was blown away. He researched and found this awesome carrying bag. A link for that bag will be in the description of this video. Um, so if you guys are interested in it, please take a look at that and pick you up one. Uh, I'm not sure on the price. I didn't look it up myself. Uh, but I do have the link. Uh, but no matter what the price is, it's worth every penny. I'm about to show you this bag and we'll get into it here rather quickly. We will be doing a second video today after the bag and after the equipment uh, preparation. We are going to go out into the snow. It's been snowing here. We got a lot of snow from that storm over Christmas. It's been brutal. Um, I've been waiting for the perfect day. Today is not the best day, but it's warmed up to like 27 degrees, 30 degrees outside, which I can tolerate that and go out and film some of the T-Max in the snow. I don't believe I've ever seen a t video with the T-Max in the snow. Hopefully I'm the first one to do it. Y'all, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You don't have to. I'm sorry I even said that. Just... I'm just here for you guys to enjoy the video. Shout outs to my first subscriber, Scooby Noob. You the man. How you doing, buddy? I plan on giving all my subscribers shouts out in every future video from this moment forward. Scooby New, you're the first one. Uh, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for following me. Let's keep up the good work. Tell your friends. Uh, let's move on. Right now, we're going to show you the bag and get into what that's all about. I don't know. I don't know. Boom. There's the bag, folks. Look at this thing. It is awesome. Turn on my light. Put my light on now. It's got pouches and tool slots. And, you know, like, let me put this up on the tripod, man, so you guys can, we can do this right. All right, folks, we're back on the tripod. I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of this guy. First off, it's got a cool shoulder strap adjustable. Okay, with a nice little pad. It detaches. Yada, yada, boom, bada, bing. Okay, got the Velcro grip, combo handle, what not have you. All right, we got a dual military style zipper. Okay, if an idiot tries to open your bag like this, he won't be able to get it open. I call that my redneck security system. Anyways, but if you have half a brain, you can open it. If I only had a brain. Look at this, folks. Upside down, inside out. I'm about to show all you folks what it's all about. Three, three words when you're getting busy. Whoa, there it is. Anyway, I look like one of them Price is Right models. Ooh, look at that. Hey, SpongeBob, check it out, SpongeBob. Anyway, 
So, we got a little zipper pouch. This is like a waterproof deal. Uh, I would think maybe you'd want to put uh, or static. I don't know. If anybody knows what this area might be for, I'm thinking it could be for fuel bottles or spare fuel containers with tight lids on them. Uh, maybe. I don't know. But put any input, whatever you want in there. Whatever. You've got pouches on the side for your remote controls, what have you. Okay. Uh, you got this cool front pouch for more tools. You just put tools and stuff in here. You got some Velcro things here that you can Velcro onto the side. Uh, you know, you got a pouch here that opens up. Hopefully we can, okay, put more good stuff, put goodies in here, spare parts. Uh, I recommend putting small loose bits in here. It's got a net finish so that you uh, don't lose anything. Okay. That's that. Uh, it's a great bag. We're going to go ahead. Uh, it will fit the T-Max 3.3. This, to me, does look like the remote pouch on the side. I think that's where I'm going to put my remote. <coughs> Excuse the coffinator. This definitely <coughs> looks like a quick grab fuel bottle place here. So, we'll probably do that. Um, and whatever else we got going on. So let's first let's put the key max in here and see how it looks, okay? Boom! Here's the bag. And I left out a little side note, folks. It does come preloaded with a T-Max 3.3. Just to prove it, let me show you. Like I said, you got your little handle here and your little doodad here. And your redneck security system. It's already working, it looks like. And if you do right by the guy you order it from, he'll throw in a T-Max 3.3. Boom! Look at that. Awesome. Folks, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't get your hopes up. Uh, this is my T-Max. As you can see, it fits in here perfectly. Uh, I've already packed a bag with stuff, so... You got pouches in here for extra components. I decided to use these pouches for my battery and my starter and my charger. Okay. Uh, we got the 3 Max or the, the T Max 3.3 in here. It is secure by all means. This is one heck of a Velcro strap. And actually, um, what I do is I push down on the suspension a little bit. And then I lay that across there like that. Do this carefully because I didn't want to push down the body too much. And then I just did that with one hand and then let the body flex up and it holds it nice and tight in there. You might say, oh, I might slip off the side. Well, you know what? If it does, it's still in there, okay? It's not going to hurt anything. You know, I'm not that worried about it. I like it. So, I was talking about this earlier fuel pouch. That's what I'm going to use it for. If you think it's for something better, I don't know. But I got a rag in here, my little can of fuel. And as you can see, when you close it up, it, it automatically lays in there just right. And you can zip it up, no problem. So I'm not worried about that. It'll keep my fuel in there. If there's ever a leak or whatever, I think that's the best place for it. Uh, continue on with the bag. That's all you get to see for the T-Max right now, folks. Till we go outside and play in the snow later. Video is on the way for that. So, I decided to... Let me go back to this real quick. Screwdriver, all like I said. Little tool pouch, little tool holders here. Alright. And then, I'm putting my little spare parts and other little tools that could just fall out. Allen wrenches, things like that. My spare glow plug. All that kind of stuff in here. I'll also put some zip ties 
and extra body pins in this little pouch here. I may actually put them over here. I think I'll do that now because these are valuable. Yep. So there you go. There's that pouch. I like it. All right. Uh, move on to the fuel and remote control. That's right there. I've decided to use this as a remote. Again, there's more tool holders. Um, but I think this is perfect for the remote. And uh, as you can see, it opens right up. Got your remote in there. I think that's a great spot for it. And zipper up. Bada boom, bada bing. My fuel bottle. Secondary fuel bottle, quick squeezer. Yep, that's gonna stay there. I think it's great. You spin the bag around, not much on the back side, and that's why it's called the back side of the bag. You know, not much to do there. So, you come back to this side, you get a secondary. I think if you wanted to run two fuel bottles, boop, 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 like you're milking a cow, boop, 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 you know, you can put another bottle there. And then uh, maybe this is for another remote. Maybe you're a two kind of car, a two car kind of guy. And you, uh, you're you running two remotes. Same pouch, same thing. But for me, I put my extra fuel, I mean my extra air cleaner in there. And all my spring spacers and whatnot for the shocks which I probably won't use for a long time, but they're there in case I want to. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Zippers being a pain in the little butt here on the corner, but that's because of material in there. All right, there you have it folks. The T-Max bag, as I like to call it. And uh, it's not bad. You can literally, you know, just pick it right up. No big deal, one arm, one, one arm one arm here whoop, whoop. no big deal all right that's it for the bag a link will be in the for the bag will be in the description on this video let's get to it and go have some fun up at the farm a little bit better location in my house it's just up that way behind the couch through the window over the trees uh yeah to my brother-in-law's house we go he got a good little shop up there where I can work in the shop. We got a wood stove and stuff. Provide a little heat for this. And we're going to play in the snow. Peace out, America. One day soon, we'll get back together. One day soon, you will fly again. I'm so sorry for crashing you the first time you flew. Propellers broke, and now you're blue.